The title of this mini podcast is Positive Thinking Does Not Lead to Action. When it comes to results, positive thinking is less effective than snake oil. I'll think positive. That's a thought we have that's right up there in effectiveness with Marie Antoinette's Let Them Eat Cake. The positive thought we force ourselves to think is quickly countered by a litany of reasons why that thought won't last. Mantras are positive thinking. Notice what happens when you use one of these pithy platitudes. I am healthy, wealthy, and wise. Let me say that again. I am healthy, wealthy, and wise. Well, your mind immediately answers, you're sicker than a dog, poorer than a church mouse, and dumber than a stump. And then the back and forth argument goes on in your mind about who's right. When you're caught up in your mind, your body, your action machine, remains idle. But, you say, there are positive accomplished people with sunny temperaments. Don't they think positive? Yes, they often do, but it's not their sunny disposition that leads them to fruition. That can only take place when action is initiated. Look before you leap is a wise admonition. But after considering it, you have to step off in some direction for some action to take place. That place is not in your head, thinking positive. I prefer the term optimism to thinking positive. There is a difference. Optimism takes off the blinders and lets you see the whole playing field, where actual options are aplenty, whereas thinking positive has one option, keeping you stuck in your head with lollipops and rainbows instead of going full speed ahead. You know, there's really nothing wrong with being a positive thinker, except if you believe it'll get you what you want. Hook, line, and sinker. All the best, John.